So, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a truly impromptu video. We are currently on our way to a neighboring emirate of Dubai called Fajera. Anyway, that's for a completely unrelated topic of which we shall share with you very soon. However, on the drive here, uh, Porsche have sent me an email with all of the information on the brand new, as yet unreleased, GT4 RS. Now, I know we all knew it was coming. We didn't really know when, but in my inbox right now is photos and the full press release of the spec breakdown of the car. So we thought, why don't we share with you discovering this car for the very first time as it unfolds. We'll take you along as a collective audience for the journey, and then we shall all discuss it excitingly uh, in the comments below. Okay, let's hit download on video and press release. And this is exactly what happens. Normally, quite far in advance of me flying to a destination for the launch of a new car to be physically in front of it, they will send this thing, what is known as a press release, which gives you a lot of information about the car at hand. And it's a big document with lots of 9,000 RPM QB roll. Unbelievable, 9,000 RPM. Okay, you've seen how sexy it looks. You've seen how great the curvature of this thing is. Now we wanna read about all of these specs. So, uh, news from Stuttgart. Um, new Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS redefines driving enjoyment. When 500 PS, so that's just under 500 horsepower, but we all know that Porsche's power figures have been historically conservative. So with some luck, it might be around about 500 horsepower. From a high revving, mid-mounted, and that's the important thing with the uh, GT4 and GT4 RS now, of course. Um, mid-mounted engine meets a paired back 1,415 kilogram curb weight. I wonder if that's wet or dry. I'm gonna go with that being wet, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's just talk about that soundtrack. You must have noticed on that video, and I'll throw in some pictures now, the air intakes behind your ears. So what would have conventionally been the rear windows butted between the B pillar? on that car are now air intakes. And it looks like they go into induction pipes, which literally sit behind your ears and behind a beautiful, what looks to be a titanium cage. Um, notice as well that it has the magnesium lightweight wheels, uh, which originally launched on the GT2 RS. So there's lots of light weighting going on here, which is also why I'm assuming that the cage is titanium, because that's what they did on the GT2 RS with those wheels. Um, imagine the sound of that at 9,000 RPM. I honestly didn't think they would take it to nine. And this is the interesting bit here. The naturally aspirated flat six power unit, familiar from the 911 GT3 Cup racing car and the 911 GT3 series production model, this is a GT3 engine in a GT4 RS, forms the literal centerpiece of a mid-engine sports car that has been developed for maximum driving enjoyment, Revs to nine compared to the 718 Cayman GT4, it has an extra 80 horsepower, 80 PS, so just under 80 horsepower. So the GT4 RS on the Nürburgring outperforms its sibling, the GT4, by more than 23 seconds. This is ridiculous stuff, 23 seconds. It's like an entirely different car. Among the striking features of the new top of the range 718, are the engine induction air intakes, as we just mentioned, behind the driver passenger windows. The 718 Cayman normally has small side windows here. The new air intake improves both the intake flow and at the same time, create an emotive induction sound right next to the occupant's ears. This is literally what we just said. The characteristic side air intakes in front of the rear wheels have been retained and are used for engine cooling. This is, no pun intended, quite literally music to any petrol head's ears. This thing sounds so good. It's basically a mid-engine GT3, isn't it? That's what we are reading here. Low ratio sports PDK. Here we go. 
This underpins the incredible acceleration, here we are, of this mid-engine sports car. 718 Cayman GT4 RS goes from 0 to 62 in just 3.4 seconds. This is, this is swift and has a top speed of 195 miles an hour. The two-seater weighs only 1,415 kilograms. Okay, so here we are with a full tank, but without a driver. So not only is that wet weight, that is full laden fluids. That's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, which is 35 kilograms less than a PDK-equipped GT4. These guys are going all out. Carbon bonnet, magnesium wheels, new fixed rear wing, which by the way looks massive. Swan neck design adopted from the 992 generation GT3. Okay, here we go. Wysak package, the optional Wysak package. So the pictures we've seen are obviously all boxes ticked. The optional Wysak package takes the dynamic design of the GT4 RS even further. The front luggage compartment lid, induction air ducts, cooling air intakes, air box cover, exterior mirror, lots of carbon. Lots and lots of carbon with the WISAP pack. And they've not been specific yet, but the chances are that full weight saving probably only applies to a full WISAP pack car. Now then, titanium tailpipes. Look similar to the exhaust system of the Porsche 935. Yeah, they do have some really intricate details on the exit of the exhaust. The fitted roll cage at the rear is also made of titanium. Get in, we were correct. The upper section of the dashboard is upholstered in Racetex, which is kind of Porsche's version of Alcantara. And a large Porsche logo is integrated into the rear window with the optional Wysak Pack 20 inch forged magnesium wheels can be ordered at an additional cost in place of the 20 inch forged aluminium wheels. Like those are heavy options. But if you're gonna go full RS, I mean, this is a real swan song moment for this lineage of car. I think you have kind of almost obligated, aren't you? To go for the Wysak Pack. Now then, in a minute, we're gonna be getting down to prices. During the final phase of setup adjustments, Porsche brand ambassador Jörg Bergmeister, aka Ninja Peddler Extraordinaire, lapped the 20.832 kilometer track in 709.3 minutes. This is nuts speed. GT4 RS conquered the shorter 20.6 kilometer version, which previously served as the benchmark in a 704. Okay, here we go. This is where the numbers come into play. New Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS celebrates its world premiere at the Los Angeles Auto Show and it is on sale from today, starting at £108,370 RRP, sir. First cars should arrive at Porsche centres in the UK and Ireland from spring 2022 and it is at that moment I am absolutely delighted to confirm that we have one of these remarkable machines uh, joining the garage on the channel. So spring 2022 is gonna be incredible, and this is the moment where we want your input below. No doubt the configurator at this point is live, so I'd love you to go on, all have a play, let's go with some crazy wild specs, upload them to Instagram, tag me in them, we're gonna be taking on board all of your input, and uh, yeah, I'm just very much looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Uh, we're gonna outro with some more sexy B-roll, Porsche have done a great job of sending me some uh, footage while I'm out here in Dubai, unable to film it properly, so. There we go. Massive, massive, massive excitement. That We've been waiting for this for ages. We've seen it developing on the Nürburgring for how long? And it's finally here. And I, I hope we'll all, all agree that it is very much worth the wait. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Ciao.